Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. Um, we talk a lot about pressure on booktube, you know, are we putting pressure on ourselves? Um, are, are the videos we're watching making us anxious and feel pressured? Um, you know, are we pressured to like buy more books or read more books or make more videos or whatever? Um, and actually I am feeling, I am feeling intense pressure outside of booktube. <laughs> like, uh, it's, it, this is always a really, um, challenging month for me professionally. There's just a lot going on, um, this month at, uh, where I work. And also my parents are coming to stay with us in the middle of a week. Oh my God. And they are the first people who are going to spend the night here. Um, since since pre-covid so <laughs> um, and i like looked around my house and just oh my god i spent so much i worked so hard yesterday you guys i was just absolutely dead <laughs> i was just so exhausted and so anyway i saw like a couple people were doing videos about like their goals their goal check-in which is which is different from the mid-year freak out book tag um because that's more about like best book you've read um different things like that whereas your goals i mean some people have very detailed goals like spreadsheets and you know what are they supposed to do in certain months and da 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 and that kind of thing and yeah, it's, 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 my goals are, are much more vague, um, uh, than that, but, uh, still, I thought it'd be fun, so I went and watched, um, my goal video at the beginning of this year, by the way, um, I love, I absolutely love watching goal videos at the end of the year, the beginning of the coming year. Um, so yeah, if you're new to booktube, I would really encourage you to make a goal video um, because I think it's just fascinating what, what people plan to do, what they're, you know, what they're hoping to achieve reading and booktube wise in the year ahead. So Anyway, I will link to my goal video down below. So let me just tell you, I watched my goal video and do you know what? I, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I don't even care that Goodreads is telling me I'm six books behind <laughs> my 50 year uh, goal, 50, 50 books read this year goal. Um, I could care less. <laughs> so... Uh, I did have, I, one of the things I've done, um, the last couple of years, um, this is the third year actually I've tried to do it, um, is having a high priority TBR. So books I really, really want to get to in the year ahead. And <clears throat> this year I had a little bit of a struggle making that list. Um, and in part because I, well, for one thing, I rolled over the books from the previous year that I, I didn't get to, which I think it was, were only three books. And I have read all of those books. So I feel great about that. That is a, a big accomplishment. But um, I don't know, like sometimes things work for me for a while on booktube and then suddenly like, I don't know, like all of a sudden that high priority TBR was just, it was just, crushing me and so even though it says 23 for 2023 on my goodreads account which you can you can check it out down below you can uh friend or follow me on goodreads and look at that um that list but yeah there's definitely not 23 books on there right now basically right now my strategy is to um whatever i finish reading to add it to that list <laughs> <laughs> until we get to 23 so I should get there pretty soon right um yeah but it was you know when I started when I first started my channel I actually um had quarterly TBRs um and it worked so well for a while and then all of a sudden it just stopped working and so I don't know like maybe the high priority TBR thing is just not gonna work again <laughs> so yeah I don't know I uh again I'm not not terribly concerned about it though. my high priority TBR uh that I initially here's a cat <laughs> I initially created 
My number one goal, and I'm not going to show the book because I've shown it so many times this year on my channel, um, but I my number one goal was to read Les Mis. That was kind of a bucket list book for me, and I wanted to give myself as much time as possible, and I basically told myself if I only read one book this year, it, and it's this book, like, great. Like, mission accomplished. And uh, yeah, and I've done that. So I feel like a huge amount of relief about that um, and I'm, I'm kind of planning to do something similar just to give you a heads up I'm, I'm planning to do something similar at the beginning of 2024 um, another really big book that I want to read and you know I just want to give myself as much time as possible to read it another thing that I really wanted to do was to read more Shakespeare and more books about Shakespeare because we own we own a lot of books um, about Shakespeare in addition to the plays um, so I said in my goals video which I was like what the heck were you thinking Kelly <laughs> but I said I wanted to read six books about Shakespeare this year well I can tell you right now if we get two two books read that will be that will be a great accomplishment i did read soul of the age by jonathan bait um the subtitle is a biography of the mind of william shakespeare you know this was just it was just a challenging book it was good i'm glad i read it but um yeah it was it was intense um so I'm hoping to read one more maybe book about Shakespeare before the year is over, but again, no pressure. I'm not gonna not gonna do that to myself. Um, I also have a goal um, every year. The goal is to read a book by um, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, William Shakespeare, Louise Erdrich. And so far this year, the only one of those authors that I've read anything by is uh, Louise Erdrich. I read the sentence. So um, I, I wanted to participate in Jane Austen in July and I just I just couldn't this year. I had to get I, those high priority rollover books were just they were just kind of crushing me a little bit and um, yeah so I had to get those read and I feel a huge sense of relief about that. Um, I will definitely be back to participate in Jane Austen July next year. Um, so anyway, I don't know if I'm going to get a Dickens or Jane Austen book read. Um, definitely I will be participating in Shaketember, which is a month long celebration of Shakespeare in September, of course. Um, and so, yeah, so definitely we will get, we will get some Shakespeare read this year for sure. Um, so those were kind of my reading goals. And then I vaguely talked about some channel goals, um, at the beginning of the year, my channel had been monetized for a couple months. I do monetization really weird though. Um, so essentially my videos are not monetized for about a week and some video and some videos don't ever get, don't ever get monetized. Um, and, and so it's really like, if you, if you are, a, if you are a subscriber, um, and, and if you're not, I welcome you to <laughs> click the subscribe button but but uh, if you're a subscriber definitely you want to hit that little bell so that um you get notified notified excuse me um as soon as i have a new video so that you can watch it without ads um and so that's kind of an incentive to i don't know hit the little bell <laughs> and, uh, and watch things sooner so that you don't have to watch any of those ads um but just to give you some idea of what that does to monetization. So um, it's this fall, it will be, like I said, it'll, it'll be about a year this fall um, that my channel has been monetized and I have only made $25. So I, I don't really care, um, but it, it just kind of makes me laugh. Also realized that there were people who were watching my channel who wanted to, to do something, who wanted to support the channel somehow. And so I did set up a wonky Amazon wish list. So you can't actually, it won't show you my name or my mailing address or anything like that 
on my Amazon wish list. Um, <laughs> you can reach out to me on Goodreads or on Instagram um, or even, you know, um, I don't know, provide me with your email address, whatever. Um, I, I just don't like the idea of my mailing address being like out there in the world for anyone to see. Um, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. And uh, yeah, so so I just want to know like who's sending me if, if you want to buy something off the wish list, like I just want to know. And uh, one of one of the things I got this year, so exciting. Um, the selected works of William or selected poetry, excuse me, of William Wordsworth. And I absolutely love this cover. I love the daffodils so much. So this is one of the things that was on my wish list and I got from one of you and I'm so, so grateful. The other thing I did was I set up a Kofi account or coffee, I don't know, account. Um, which again, you can find the information about that down below. And that is, um, all, all of that money will go back into the channel. So it will go into shipping um, books out to people or buying books that I want, like my little small haul that I did on my last Friday Reads video. Uh, that money, those books were purchased with money from from uh, Kofi donations, and I really want to thank the people who have done that. I'm I'm super grateful. Um, if you decide you want to make a donation to my Kofi account, um, you can um, you can tell me how you'd like me to use that money. If you want me to use it to buy books, if you want me to use it for shipping. Um, more recently, I have wanted to create a bookmark for my channel. Um, and a lot of you voted in my poll on my community tab about, you know, like, do I need to have like a fancy label made? Is it okay if it's homemade? Um, you know, that sort of thing. And I got the sense that like homemade, a homemade bookmark, um, was, was not a problem. Um, and again, you can still vote on that, um, on, on my community, um, page of my channel, but, um, yeah, so I have started making some homemade bookmarks. A couple are out in the world and a couple more are going to be going out this week um, to thank people for uh, donating um, or I'm sending out a, a book. Um, I'm sending out a giveaway prize. It's way late. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, so I've got some things to send out in the mail and I'm just going to start including bookmarks with those things. But again, definitely anyone who donates to uh, my Kofi account will get at least a note, a message from me saying like, if you, if you would like a bookmark, please provide me with your, your mailing address. So um, I'm really excited about the bookmarks. Um, we'll see, we'll see where that goes over time. But, um, anyway, so tell me, how are you doing on your reading goals for 2023? I would love to know. And, um, what do you think about how I'm doing on my goals? Anyway, I love talking to you in the comments section. Um, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, you can leave an emoji or give this video a thumbs up as a way to say hello. Um, but I do really, really love talking to people in the comments section and getting to know people a little bit better that way. That is the greatest reward, um, in many ways of being part of the booktube community. So thank you so so much. I look forward, I look forward to chatting with you about reading goals and channel goals. So booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.